All right, howdy, boyos, and welcome, welcome back to Freeman Guerrilla Warfare. Now, you're probably not really used to seeing this game on this channel again, and I'm not going to bring it back for every video, but I figured once in every while, I would um, do sort of cross video where I upload it on both my channels, um, just so you guys still know that I'm still playing it, and if you haven't yet, you know, changed channels for this game, or, well, may I say changed channels, I mean subscribe to my other channel, you're probably missing out on a lot of, uh, good Fremen Guerrilla Warfare content and some other stuff that I'm still working on. Uh, basically, as you may not know or may know, I've started a second channel, I'll link it in the description, I'm not gonna talk about it for the next 20 minutes, but... If you want to see more Freeman Girl Warfare, I got like three or four more episodes on there. And I will be uploading other games like uh, I've already got a Siege video up there and I'm working on some other stuff. Um, just if you want to see more of this, link in the description. For now, let's just get going and um, kill some more bandits. So, a lot has happened since the last video on my main channel, uh, Freeman Girl Warfare. And obviously, the party system is one of them. I'm not going to talk about it in depth because everyone at this point, I'm sure, knows. Um, at least if you've been watching or haven't been watching, I guess you don't know. But um, it's a bit different. I'm not going to explain it. Just check out the videos on the other channel. They will all explain it thoroughly. Basically, um, this is just a reserve squad that I'm not even trying to you know, replenish because they're just going to be used. Why do you have a suppressor in a red outside if you don't? You liar. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm just using these guys as like replenishment if I lose people. Also, in an upcoming patch, as far as I've seen, they're going to be adding your ability to customize every single person in a squad to the point where I can decide, okay, this guy has this body armor and this helmet, but he has an M240. The guy next to him has a hat and a boonie uh, or a balaclava or whatever. And he has a sniper, and then the other guy has etc. And it's going to be interesting to see how much microing that's going to be. Honestly, a little bit intimidated by that. Because um, I'm not really sure what to do. We'll still have my amazingly glitched headgear. And we have our new little uh, like AK-74U. We're not really too close to level up. Uh, what's our party like? I, I mean, I just looked at it, but... <coughs> we have four units. At our max level, we do have the cadet squad, but like I said, they are more of a, you know, they're more of a, of a just unit that I want keeping to heal people up. Uh, although we could use, I don't know, like these AR spec ups are good, but are they good enough to be a thousand bucks? I don't, I don't know if that's the truth. I don't know if that's really what they should be doing. But I feel like we could definitely take on a bigger unit, maybe a, a number in the twenties. Of bandits or or umans or human humans umans uman human umanis umianis uman umuns. Sorry, I don't know if I can pronounce that. Um, also, the escort mission is still inherently broken, and you will not be able to complete it even if you kill all the enemies. Um, obviously, it's still zero point one four zero. So you know, a bit early in the stage to really bitch about stuff like that. Um, they are working on it. Like I said, they already showed the whole system that they changed that they're working on. Um, let's just move to Berezno and hopefully we can find some uh, some bigger groups of enemies like that. That would be a good one to fight. Oh no, you better not steal my thunder. You cuck. Alright, well. I would have actually wanted to fight that. Yeah, I'm not fighting five armed marauders. That's a good joke. Let's not do that. Let's just keep moving. That's very loud, by the way. Those people fighting. That's 50 Umans. That's a lot. That's 26 Umans. That's 32. Ooh, hello. Yes, we'll fight you. 29. We'll start with a 29. Almost double. Well, not double, but, you know, it's got a little bit more than we have. I'm only going to be using four out of my five units anyway. Uh, and myself, I don't really have a super accurate weapon. So, we'll see how this goes. Luckily, we start off with a battle on the plains. Uh, let's get our Juggernaut and Pazna and the Specialist Squad. I have to say, I really do miss <laughs> my beautiful, beautiful squad, which was the, uh, let's set you both to charge, which was the FCA Rangers. My god, those guys were good. I really miss my FCA Rangers squad. Okay, now I do appear to have a companion, but she kind of is here and then isn't here, so don't really worry about too much about her. She's, you're stupid. You're, 
You coming? This is sometimes how I feel like my girlfriend is. It's like we go somewhere, and I'm like, hey, 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 you. See? It worked. I'm not saying that I yelled at my girlfriend to come follow me everywhere, but I'm saying, you know, sometimes you're like, hey, we've been in the store for about 20 minutes now. I'm sure you've seen everything 20 times over, and it's like, no, I, I gotta watch this thing. And then, you know. Or maybe you don't know. Maybe maybe you don't know. Um, if you don't know, then, you know, prepare for having a girlfriend. This is going to sound really rude. Um, and I should not probably... Uh, I can ask. I don't think it's weird. I myself am not gay. I don't... Nothing against gays, but I myself am not gay. Are gay men and women also very bad shoppers no actually i assume gay women might be better shoppers than gay men i assume like as a guy myself when i go into a store usually let's say i'm buying clothes right it's like okay i'm going for pants this is what i need after i get my pants i'm out right and i feel like my girlfriend as a female as a heterosexual female she has issues oh she has issues trying to stick to the one thing now i'm wondering do gay men because they're more feminine usually are they more like my girlfriend and then are gay women because they're probably more masculine do they have the same thing as me where they go into a store and kind of know what they want this probably is way off topic for this video i'm so sorry i don't know why i started this comment this is gonna go Horrible in the comments section. You can already see the comments fucking going ham. I don't know. Oh, 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 hey, 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 I'm walking here. That's pretty ridiculous. Uh, let's, my machine gunners are probably fine. It's got hit, actually. Hold the balls. I'm trying to hit this guy. Anyway, if you uh, have any sort of experience with this, let me know. Just a random thought that came up into my brain that I was wondering about this morning. Um, don't ask me why. It just happened. Anyway, are those enemies that are alive? Accuracy, sometimes I wish I had it. Okay, well we have some accuracy. Oh, those are marauders. Those are worth like 10 times more XP. Holy balls, look at that. Well, like eight times, like from si from 62 to like 480. That's a big change, my dude. Well, there's we only kill half of them. Let's push up. We got our machine gun. Oh, that's actually our... I almost said recrunt. I was thinking of playing Siege, but this is, that's, that's just my companion just going ham there. Oof, that was a hit, but it just bounced off of my helmet or something. Reload. Keep pushing up. I don't know where these people are. They must be like right in front of me here though. I can't wait to get one tapped like last time. Woo! That was danger close. I didn't know that people in the in Freeman didn't like their officers, so they just fragged them like right, like Vietnam. Oh, come on, dude. And if you're like, what do you mean? Well, in Vietnam, apparently a popular thing to do, well, I say popular thing to do, a thing that occurred more often than once because there's a terminology for it, was something called fragging, where uh, people, oh God, where people would frag their commanding officer uh, in a way to like make him either die or, oh God, oh God. God, oh god, like repay him for like a bad order he gave. Um, and actually, like I said, it happened enough where they had to come up with an actual name for the like the phenomenon, so. Oh, come on. Did I just lose my juggernauts? Yes, I did. I was so busy talking, I just lost my juggernauts. I better not have lost these guys permanently, dude. 
Oh my god, are you serious? I'm gonna get really upset if I just, while talking about that, I just lost my... You gotta be kidding me. God damn it, please no. Please no. Party, please be alive. God damn it! I mean, how the hell do you even go level up? And also, stop with the stars, you fucks. Well, god damn it. Now we're gonna look. Now we're gonna try and find uh, FCA again. Although the FCA are the purple boys. Well, let's go get a purple boy. God damn it. God damn it! Fuck off. I know. No, 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 no. Compliance. Let's 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 threaten you first. Okay. Let's persuade you to join. There we go. Nice party. Looters. Um. Sure. We'll just. Hmm. I'm never using these guys, so it makes more sense to join. Have them join the looters because they're cheaper to keep up, right? So. Well, that was stupid. I can't believe I just lost. Did these guys just change? Oh, they change appearance over time. I can't believe I just lost my juggernauts just talking about random shit. I'm an app. I'm an absolute idiot. I'm a dumb idiot. Oh, uh, it's gonna be loud. Let's get away from that. I am a big, a big idiot. A big dumb idiot. Holy shit! That is a big upgrade. We just doubled our body armor, which is pretty good. But I don't know if it can. I don't know if it can make good the loss of my dumb idiot face. Let's get rid of all this ammo. Let's get rid of all this stupid stuff. God damn it, dude. I'm a dumb idiot. I'm a dumb, dumb, dumb idiot. I really hate myself for doing this, being like careless. I th oh my god. Uh, weapon dealer. Nothing new. Have you equipment? We cannot use the mortar yet, so it doesn't matter. Or right, let's check out the higher mercenaries. I really don't need mercenaries. Like, I mean, I could get them, but I don't really see why. Barracks, sure. Let's get. Let's get two of these. Oh shite! Oh, man, uh, let's go to the hospital and uh, weapon. D no, there's nothing here. Like. Oh, yeah, we'll get this, I guess. Um, I don't need night vision. I've already discovered that night vision in this game is, is not as good as you'd want it to be. Oh, I, could, I should have saved those AK mags. That's stupid. Uh, where are you at? Like, just buy like five, four or five, sure. That was 30 bucks. Man, how much is an AK mag in real life? How much is an AK, just a 30 round, how much would a cheapest AK mag be on the market? Like. I'm, I have no clue about these things, so you, you guys should tell me, because I have honestly no clue. So now, the FCA, uh, the G, IGEA, the IGEA, that's very good English. The IGEA is that these guys get level up. Though I'm not too sure about having Juggernauts. I think having the level before Juggernauts is fine. I don't think... Wow, professional of myself. I don't think I need Juggernauts again. I think they get up to Grenadier level and the Juggernauts were not that good. They're a three-man squad with like lots of armor but I don't know. I, I don't think I I don't think I like them as much as I want to. This gun also looks really good and I really want to get this gun at some point. The R3 the R3 does look really cool um, but Damn it all to hell, I want my... Oh, we're level 7, I got points. I really want to get like level 10 or whatever the hell it is, and then we'll hopefully be able to get... Um... Oh, god damn it, I don't even know what half these things are anymore. Uh... Sh sure. How much is my party size now? Oh, we can almost get... Well, maybe we could technically get a new unit. 
There are bandits, and then after bandits comes our marauders. But we'll save these guys. We'll just keep them here. And then um, what we'll do is we'll use them to replenish instead of having another unit to replenish. Can we fight some of these bishes? That's the question. I really want... The music is gone. I just realized that in this game. So did the music just go? Oh, I put it at like 2%. Probably for a reason. Then again, the music was, was really loud before. Nice floating hut right there. If we can just find someone, or look, a little group of enemies, and we can just wreck all of them, and I can just get to level 25 and buy all the cool guns. Every time I go level up, I'm going to check a town. I just checked a town, but, you know, let's check out a town just to be sure that there's no... I run an R3 where I want that Spar 16, whatever these guns are called. I don't care about the dumb MP5. That can suck a B, but I'm talking about about this gun and I know there's also like a scar L version but I don't even know what that's called like the gun that they have I must like the tag that would have been awkward anything here I have a lot of money that I want to spend I mean, nothing really to spend it on this because there's shit all there's like a Swedish fucking SMG or this is an MP40 it doesn't it looks more like the Swedish like the Swedish K thing a mini Uzi is trash compared to what I have right now God damn it, dude. All right, well, there's 46 Umans here. That's a little bit on the big side. Again, if we can look for, if we can find like a 20 or, th ooh. That could be bad. That could be, that might be too many our Marauders for me. That's, oh my God, that's just pure our Marauders. I mean, Let's fight. Let's fight. Just a small battle. And I'll only put down my guards and... Do we want to upgrade my looters? I don't even think so. And I'll, up, up, I'll put these two down. Charge. Or we can attack from just there. So we'll just move them down. Move myself in between. Let's go. Are you, oh, my companion decided to spawn again. It's like a 40, 70 chance of her spawning. Um, and then there's about a 2% chance that she actually does anything. Come on, boys. I really don't want to lose my spec ups. Oh, here we go. We already have some enemies. I really want to kill as many people myself. Um, I'm sure my spec ups will kill, 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 but I need to kill people myself. I need to get that fat XP, yo. Come on. Come on. No. Well, I mean, it, it works out, I guess. Reload. Well, my FCAs just killed someone. That's good. Give me those experience points. Let me actually look at the rounds. They're like flying all over the place. That was actually finally a hit. Oh, two two armor marauders. There was there was none on the on the list. There was just like three looter squads. Interesting. I guess that totally lied to me then. That's cool. Just, yeah, you can lie to me, I guess. God damn, dude. Did I just get hit or was that my companion? Definitely heard some sort of bounce. Uh, let's push up. Let's push up towards these dead bodies or towards these uh, enemies. Which will soon be dead bodies. Let's hope so. I'm not reloading just to save ammo. Because if you reload, you lose the whole mag. Nice. Level 8. Those armor rotters definitely gave me some good points. There we go. How? 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 
You gotta be. I can't. I shot the car in the face. You can't do anything. I couldn't stop. Oh, well, you got the FCA guards upgradable. I couldn't do anything. I, I couldn't shoot that guy in the grass, which is stupid. Let's upgrade into bandits. Fuck it, why not? They'll turn into our marauders, and then I really don't give a shit about what happens to them. Sure, we'll upgrade these to the FCA infantry. Then they'll become grenadiers, and after grenadiers, I think we're going to keep them. I don't really want juggernauts. That was really weird. That was really annoying. Um, 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 they have smoke grenades now, which is good. They do look really weird. The helmets sit really high on top of their heads. Also, it's weird because you can see, like, they're... Their stuff changes like now two guys three guys have helmets and now five of them have helmets and now four of them have helmets and now three of them have helmets and now four or five and now it's just weird it's now two of helmets so uh anyway that was great let's get definitely not get healed i mean i need to go back to our town and heal up but i did level up which is good so we can just add more points to something that i don't think matters because i i'll be honest the detail system is stupid. Uh, it's so it's so, st so stupid compared to what it was before. I really like the previous system. I really don't care about the stupid companions that are just wasting your time by being stupid and being around you. And like, what are you doing? G go away. Uh, honestly, she, she she should just fight naked at this point. That's probably more useful than anything. Why does this black thing? Okay, I don't want to strip her. But what was that black thing across her chest? That was weird. What is this? Armor? Okay, this is better for her to wear. This is black thing. It's just like crossing her fucking neck. Anyway, we got level 8. So maybe now there's going to be a good gun. But we'll have to find out because I'm level. I've got like 1 HP. So let's go back. Let's heal. And let's not get fucked up like that. Even though I have 14,000. I don't even know how to make that noise. 14,000 doll hairs. And I haven't even sold the loot I got from the last battle. Let's put the AK mag in my, uh, in my uniform. Uh, go to hospital. Yes, I wish the hospital only asked for 150 bucks every time you went there. Um, then again, I'm from Europe, so I'm used to going to the hospital not having to pay anything. But, you know, it's nice to have just a very cheap hospital visit in general, I guess. Weapon dealer. No, that's the wrong button. I can't click. God damn it. Where's all the cool shit? Where's the cool stuff? Let me... Oh my god, that's a big army. Let me entertain you. No, seriously though, let me get... Let me get some good guns, please. I need this nice floating hut again. That's a lot of people on this hill. What the hell are they doing? It's like a giant army. It's like... uh, What's that guy called who marched across the mountains and the Alps with the elephants. Oh my god. I'm gonna hate myself. I know his name. I know his name. It's not Caligula. I don't know why I keep thinking of Caligula. Oh my god, you gotta be shitting me. I know his name. 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 Oh, don't, don't worry. I'll know it before the end of this video. I'm not gonna look it up, I promise, but I'm gonna look, I'm gonna remember it. I'm gonna remember. Ooh, what's this? A shitty gun that I don't want. RPGs? No, it's just RPG rockets. God damn it! We could fight those people. I really should. Hannibal. Hannibal. That's his name, right? Uh, let's do it. Let's die. Today we die. Or we dine in heaven. I don't know what that means. I dine in hell probably instead, but. Okay, it's flat land, which is better for me, I think. Let's put everyone down. You're shooting me. Come on. They're coming from there, so let's turn around and let's set up on the high ground. Talk about high ground. This has nothing to do with high ground, actually. Uh, but I figured I would bring it up regardless. The new Star Wars movie, like uh, the the Solo movie, Han Solo movie. You gonna watch it or not? Nah? You should let me know why or why not because I'm interested because I saw the trailer for it and I don't want to sound like one of those people who jumps on the oh, Star Wars is stupid because it's made by Disney now. It's just look at this. This is not how it used to be guys. I don't want to be one of those people. I don't necessarily think that's the truth. 
obviously there's a difference between Star Wars and you know, 1978 or whatever, whenever the first one was made, like 1980s, 1970s, and, you know, Star Wars in 2017 with the last one, uh, The Last Jedi, where, uh, oh, I can't say that probably, where something happens and something happens and spoiler and spoiler, even though the movie's been out for a while. Uh, actually, I, I probably could say it, but I don't want to trigger people. No, fuck it. You look, listen, you can, you've had your fair share of spoiler warnings. If you don't want to hear what happens in Star Wars The Last Jedi, just skip the next 10 seconds. Fucking, what's his face? Luke Skywalker disappears into a cloud of mist or whatever, and he basically kills himself because he's stupid and he doesn't want to live anymore, and he's basically turned into Yoda. Okay, spoilers are over. If you're, you can unmute yourself or whatever. Anyway, so that happens, and that movie was Scarbo. I, I, honestly, I don't want to jump on it. Oh, but I, I hate bandwagon because you're stupid because you hate fun. No, it has nothing to do with the whole casino scene. Casi, casino, casino. I don't know how you say it with a Z or an S, but the whole like gambling planet thing was <sighs> Disney is capitalist as fuck. The only reason those cute little stupid bird animals were in there to fucking whatever the shit they're called is only because Disney knows they can sell those to young children. And then they say, oh, yeah, destroy capitalism, destroy what these people work for. Whether or not they're criminals, they fucking work. Well, maybe that's not necessarily true, but you don't know if every single person on that planet might not be a criminal. It's fucking, like, ruined that entire planet, and there were still, like, some kids who were chained up who didn't even save. You just say, hey, thanks for the uh, thanks for the animals. Thanks for the distraction there, eh, kid. And then you just fucking left them on the planet to get hit by this big fat dude with the shovel or whatever. Man, that new Star Wars, that new Star Wars movie, that's how I sounded just now, that was horrible. Um, whole tangent though, the new movie coming out in end of May, the Han Solo prequel movie. Um, I was actually pretty excited about that, and I still am, I think. The main thing is though, that I really did not think that the character, uh, you know, the guy who they found, some, some, some German name, I don't remember his name. It's something with, like, it sounds very German. I'm just randomly firing at this hill. It's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, I guess that's another kill. But some German guy, and I really did not think that his name, that he looked very much like Han Solo. There are some people I've seen on the internet that looked a lot more like Han Solo than this guy. And by Han Solo, of course, I mean Harrison Ford. But still, you know what I mean? Like, I just thought that he didn't really look like as much like as I maybe wanted it to. Which, I mean, I don't know. I, I think he... They could, they could have found, oh, that's bad. I really think they could have found some better people for it, and it makes me kind of annoyed. Um, is my pos is my sniper actually shooting at people or no? Oh god, one HP. Let my AI do some killing. I really just feel like they could have found some better people for the role, and it makes me kind of annoyed. Um, because obviously I feel like the whole movie, and it's a sharp the sharp is actually killing people now. I really feel like the movie, in my opinion, like it's a, it's a prequel to Han Solo. Obviously you can't just go back in time and, you know, find Han Solo when, or Harrison Ford when he was like 20 or 25. And I get it, I understand. But there were some people who I saw who were like insanely well looking. Well, that's not the way to say that. And suddenly ins looked insanely much like Han Solo, or like Harrison Ford when he was younger. I've seen pictures of him, and there's some actors, and I'm like, why did you not pick these people? Like, come on, you can train these people. You're Disney, you have billions of dollars. Oh, hey there, bud, what's going on? I'm just talking about Star Wars while you guys are killing people for me. Um, you have billions of dollars, just invest like two million more and make this actor who has not as much acting experience, I guess, who looks a lot like Han Solo, just get him and make him do your your Han Solo. Just train him. You have like so many millions of billions of dollars. But anyway, I, I don't think the character very much looks like him. I mean, he looks like him. It doesn't look like him as much as I'd like to. This guy just killed a person I was watching. And the trailer, it felt like really, f I don't know. It just, there was some really weird moments in the trailer where it just felt like it was forced. Um, it just felt awkward. Sure, we'll imprison you and then persuade to join you later but i know the new star wars i want to i'm gonna go see it because i'm a uh, i'm really excited is this the last okay this is the last yeah that's actually not that bad look at eight grenades i might keep these guys as, as they are right now 
let's make them our marauders, I guess, which might be the highest level they get to, and use them still to replenish. Oh, I could get another squad and replenish them both. Huh. I could just get this party. Oh, no, 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 no. Prisoners. Threaten. Put it to join. Uh, party. Looters. Hey. And they should be gone now. Nope. They should be gone now. Nope. They should be gone now. Nope. All right. Let's go to Karinka, I guess. Fuck it. And we'll just get a new unit and then... Um... Yes, definitely go to the hospital, hire mercenaries. I think we already established it was cheaper to get... No, oh, maybe not. God damn it! Why? my These guys should be dead. This band. Yeah, fuck oof, mate. There we go. Okay, inventory. No, that's the wrong button. Party. We'll actually use these armor rotters, I guess. Why not? I do like how, how I have two 10-star units and their stars don't mean anything. Um, weapon dealer. Let's sell. Oh, that's a lot of money. We can't. They didn't even have that money. There we go. I don't know. The new Star Wars. I want to like it, but there's no guarantee it's going to be good. As much as that's a guarantee with every movie, but after the start, the Last Jedi, I kind of got burned out on Star Wars. I don't think that was a good movie. I don't know why it took me so long to say that. I was trying not to die or lose units like I did with the Art Marauders. Because that was a bit stupid and awkward. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I know, that's the last time, wow, $21,000 exactly, but yet nothing to buy is there really for me. Oh my, nice, I'm level 9, almost level 10. I don't hope that actually unlocks some stuff that I might not actually want or need. Uh, sure, we'll get some Endurance, and we'll get some Intelligence, and sure, we'll get Leadership. Okay, what's in this town? Anything here? It's the stuff I sold it. Apps. Oh, a Glock. That might be the newest thing I can buy now, which is useless. So nice. Um, That's a lot of bad boys. These people are still just walking in this like sort of formation towards this town. Oh, they're intercepting. They're intercepting. Come on, intercept. Intercept. Not really intercepting them, but... Oh, no, he is. There's 98 people in this town, so I don't think they're going to really be doing anything. I'm just walking through it. No, they're attacking it. They're definitely attacking it, but they're not going to do anything about that. They're just going to kill them all because they have like 90... Oh, that's... Yeah. They have like 98 people in the town. They only have... What is that? Like 50? 40... 14 plus 17 is what? 31? And then plus 13 is uh, 44, so yeah, I don't even have 50 people. They, didn't even, they barely have, they don't even have half, because 44 is not even half of 98 or whatever the hell that number was. So, yeah, new Star Wars movie. I want to go see it, but just for the sake of it being a Star Wars movie, um, I don't think I would go see it if it was any other movie. But, you know, because it has Star Wars, and it's going to be like Star Wars, a solo origin story, or whatever the movie's going to be called, you know, it's going to be cool. It's going to be something I want to watch, and you can talk about. Um, because the next Star Wars movie, I think, won't come out till next year? Um, if I'm not wrong? Oh, and, of course, I absolutely, unlike so many other people, apparently, on the internet, I think Rogue One is the best Star Wars movie ever. Uh, but in all seriousness, no, Rogue One is my favorite Star Wars movie. Yes, it doesn't have many of the whoosh, 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 pew, 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 lightsaber. Well, actually, pew, pew, pew was in there, but there wasn't so much like whoosh, whoosh, lightsaber action as a lot of people probably wanted. But from a story perspective, it was a single story. It was like, imagine if Star Wars was never made and someone just made Rogue One out of nowhere, you know, much like Star Wars Episode Four. You know, the the very first movie ever made for Star Wars, people were like, oh, what is this? This is awesome. This is like a whole new story. We have these like bad characters, these good characters. They're easily distinguishable. And that's how I feel about Rogue One. You could see Rogue One, a uh, rogue. You could see, wow, what's my voice today? You could see Rogue One totally different from, um, you know, the entire franchise. You could, if you wanted to. It's a self-contained story. 
Obviously, there's some plot holes like, who is this Darth Vader fella? But it doesn't really matter because you don't really need to know to understand what's going on, you know? You just need... Uh, also, I don't really need to upgrade... Okay, well, I was about to say I can't really upgrade those guys anyway. But you don't really need need to know who is who in that situation um, because you're just, you know, watching the movie and it worked out for episode four and worked out for episode... Like, I guess I don't know what number episode that would be. Uh, what, what, ep what episode number is... Rogue One. It's gonna be well. It's like a. I don't think it really fits in the in the in the episode numbers, does it? Anyway, my opinion: Rogue One, best Star Wars movie. Great story. Great actors. I loved K two S O or K S two O K two S O. Such an amazing character. I think I have never laughed so hard in a in a cinema as I did when watching Rogue One. Absolutely beautiful movie, and it's got a good story, and people say, yeah, there's not enough lightsaber combat. Yeah, I can see why you would say that. If you're watching a Star Wars movie, you're probably there to see some, like, lightsabers. And there's barely any, and I, I, I understand. I 100% understand these people are going to get shot up to pieces on this hill here, probably. I totally understand where you're coming from when you say that. But I don't think that lightsabers necessarily make Star Wars every single time, and I have to say that I really enjoyed that movie. Even though there was barely any lightsaber, you know, combat, minus the last, like, what is it, three minutes or whatever. Um, and to see people like Darth Vader, also I can talk about this like, with spoilers there now, because the movie's been so old. With, pe with characters like Darth Vader and Leia returning, um, there were some really cool, like, little quirks that they did. And I have to say, that was probably one of the better movies I've seen in a long time. I understand why some people don't like it. I can fully understand it, but from my perspective, it's just the perfect movie. It's a self-contained story. You can show it to someone to get them into Star Wars without them like really being like, you know, why do I have to be invested into this one like big franchise? Because it has everything about Star Wars. It has the lightsabers, it has the combat, it has the story has the music to a small-ish degree. I do really miss the real Star Wars like da, 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 like music in that movie. They they have their own version, which I don't think is actually that bad. Um, but I do really miss those like epic Star Wars moments where they have like the loud music playing. But I guess you know, hey, you can't have everything in in a good movie. Um, and it's definitely like I said, a movie that you show to a person who's never seen Star Wars before. Wow, I'm sniping these people from this range. Holy balls. You could show it to someone who's never seen Star Wars before, and they would have a, a, a feeling for, hey, am I going to like the other movies? Do not show them episode one, like actual episode one, because I watched episode one a long, long, long time ago, and I fell asleep <laughs> during episode one. It was so boring. I'm sure if you uh, if you watch the other episodes and you like are watching episode one to understand the story or the lore, it's a cool movie. But to watch episode, like, you know, normally if you're watching something or playing something, like, no one's, well, maybe not the Call of Duty, that's probably a bad example, because it doesn't really matter, but if you're watching, like, a series of movies, you're not going to watch episode, you're not going to, like, start in the middle of episode three if there are six episodes or six, like, if you let's say you're watching a Netflix show, right, like Breaking Bad, to give an example, you're not going to start in season two when there's a season one. Like, I thought, well, Star Wars, you know, I gotta watch episode one first. <laughs> bad idea, bad idea. Also, it's like, you know, it's a more modern one. I might like it more. Eh. I don't think episode one is that good unless, like I said, you're more invested and you want to, like, know what the story is and stuff. But, um, bad idea to start episode one. And it's cool to have this movie, which is Rogue One. But, hey, you know, you've never seen Star Wars. You, you, you should watch Rogue One because it's a self-contained story. I don't know why I'm repeating myself. I'm trying to kill these bad boys. I just got shot in... It didn't damage me for some reason. Ooh, on the run! Reminds me of Tiger Mafia on the run. That is a very good meme, by the way. The, who killed Captain Alex meme. My sniper is ridiculously good. Come on, come on. Take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out. This gun is so inaccurate. Is that a person? It's a treetop. Hey, we just got a 1500 more experience for killing these marauders. Another one. Another one. 
two left. I should not stand in the open like this. It's trying to get these last kills. Oh, I just jumped. I forgot I can. Oh, he's right in front of me, isn't he? Where? Hey, there we go. Got ourselves 11 kills. That is a lot of money and a lot of stuff we can sell. I might get up to like a million dollars at some point. So let's go back to Gorinka and hope we're level up again. We're level 10. Like I said, maybe now let's get leadership up there and then sure. Let's go try and sell our stuff. Our prisoners are none. Any upgrades? Okay, I don't want to upgrade these people. We can upgrade them to infantry, but I mean, I don't really know why I would do that. I'll keep these guys at Grenadier level for now. I really hope that um, Freeman Guerrilla Warfare, talking about something totally different now. I really hope that uh, Freeman Guerrilla, Guerrilla Warfare does, does, you know, introduce a new update soon. Um, they're doing a great job, but I think that this update, a detail system is really fucking frustrating. It's way different from what it used to be. And as much as I have autism or OCD and I don't like change, I see why change is good. But bad change is not good. That obviously makes sense, but bad change is bad because it's bad. And bad change means that you need to change what you've done. And personally, lots of other people seem to complain about this as well. The system is really stupid. Tech doesn't really do anything. What does this mean? Gain more strategic points? How do you get a UAV? How does the mortar work? How do you get airstrikes? Don't introduce stuff before we can use it. It's such a fucking tease to put in mortars and mortar shells if I can't use it. I saw them have a T guns. I saw explosions. They're adding like a buttload of stuff. At some point, I'm sure they're going to add vehicles and stuff like that because they have the stuff set up for it. But Add stuff that we can use, please, because it's such a tease if you add stuff that we cannot use. I would have given that to my companion if she wasn't an absolute shitbag, which she does turn out to be. Let's sell these pants. Who's, who's going to buy $600 pants? Holy shit. Is there a better helmet for me yet? I think this better helmet might be a lot better. Although, a Spetsnaz helmet, okay, that's a level 35... I think that is better than what I have right now. Yes, by far. And this is a 16 and 5. I don't know how a Weller Mask could give you camo, but let's not argue about that. 16 and 5, this is 20 and 5. This is 20 and 5. Uh, 10 and 2. Let's get the Iron Mask. And Greta is welder mask because God is that ugly and disgusting. There we go. Now we look. I didn't even have eyes anymore. Oh, it's sitting below my eyes, I think. Anyway, let's get uh let's get this sold as well. Hopefully oh, but that's not enough money for that. There we go. Hopefully there's something in the equipment deal or weapon dealer here that I want to have. Oh my god, we finally reached a level where I can actually buy an AK. So I'm going to say we go ahead and hit that fat yeet on AK and an ACOG. And we're going to sell our previous gun, which would be the this gun. Get rid of the Cobra Sight. Oh my god, my fucking nose has got very stuffy. Trade. Oh, we cannot. Uh, actually, we can probably sell this. Ooh, that's a lot of money, actually. Still, that's, so we just, the only thing we just did was pay for the, no, actually that paid for the AK as well. The AK was like three grand or something. Now let's leave, let's put this AK in our inventory, put that fat ACOG scope on. So, today was worth it, we just spent a lot of money, uh, but we made a lot more money in return, and we got ourselves an actual weapon. Also, I'm not upgrading you, stop asking for it. I'm not upgrading you, I don't really care. Uh, actually, I'll upgrade you, because I'm. you might turn into a Grenadier team not doing anything, and then I have to use someone else to be bad. Um, but yeah, the detail system, please. KK Studios, please change it. What, why do I still have this on? What, why? 7 and 15. I can probably buy, buy something better than that. Let's not be bitches. 7 and 15. Trade, equipment, 7 and 15. There has to be something that's here. Like, there we go. That's 15. 
and that's just way better. So let's just get this because that is stupid and disgusting. There we go. IOTV tax camo. And this is what, 15 and 8? Is there anything better here? Oh, wrong button. Weapon dealer. No, equipment dealer. Sell. Okay. Uh, AK. Ooh, that's 15. ACU. 15. I mean, I think my boots are fine. I think I have these right now, don't I? Yeah, I have a uh, tactical boot forest camo. I think my boot, my, I just upgraded myself. I actually look a lot less bad. I got some, uh, I've got a better gun. So I think this is a very good episode. We talked about Star Wars. We killed some enemies. We lost our juggernauts, but in return, we did get an SC Grenadier team. I'm not upgrading you, screw that. And I think we, um, We've accomplished something. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love to see you guys in the next one. Cheers.